Hello Gemini, it's your October reading. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I feel like this month is a lot of new things coming in, which uh, following September, there's a lot of new changes, new things coming, new starts, new beginnings. Um, the cards in the place so they're more <laughs> seeable, I guess. Trying to tap into your energy. Um, I think a lot of you have a lot of ideas, new ideas you can, you know, kind of play with, kind of in your mind. <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly, but it's a lot of new things, a lot of ideas, you know. I don't want to get too graphic here, but, you know inside a relationship between you and your partner between you know not things that everybody has to know there could be some things that you're keeping to yourself um in general i mean a lot of gemini's are kind of secretive mysterious type of people but ultimately they're very authentic and honest people so it just depends on what kind of mood they are like you never know what um uh, kind of mood they'll be in so they're kind of unpredictable which that's kind of normal you have those two twins going on <laughs> all right so um let's get into your reading gemini i feel like there's a lot of growth there's a lot of expansion it's really good because this is on the bottom of the deck in reverse which that doesn't really mean if it's reversed that it's necessarily no expansion of growth i think it's overcoming that obstacle of getting to that place um, where you feel really content and happy um, because a lot of you've been you know trying to grow whether it's business trying to grow you know your finances trying to grow your life in general and trying to you know integrate a lot of these past things that you know maybe haven't been working or past relationships or just a lot of contemplating about the past about things that didn't work out and I think it's just integrating those new energies and new frequency and manifesting you know more abundant and more stability within yourself and have more time to play and have fun you know all Geminis do that so anyway so first card here for October we have the Queen of Pentacles um, eight of swords six of wands six of cups king or not king, knight of cups three of wands ten of wands three of swords ace of swords five of swords the world card um, eight of wands I was going to say eight of pentacles <laughs> Um, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, a Magician, Four of Wands, Strength card, Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. All right. So, ultimately, what I'm getting, Gemini, you guys, you really want to grow stuff. You really want to, you know, connect with your being, who you are. And I feel like there's been a period in time where you've been really depressed, you know, whether it's about this past painful experience that you felt in some way, whether it's entrapment, whether it's feeling like um, you can't get through to these blockages in some way. Um, it could be a past person, it could be just something within yourself that has been really blocked um but that's i feel like that's coming to an end honestly i feel like a lot of good things are coming to you it's just this matter of you know where you've come from or where you're coming to um i feel like to you know when it comes to the dynamic of love home family and you know libra is a family oriented person you know air so i feel like you're gonna be in your element this month um i really feel like you know there could be some things coming up that has to do with family this month possibly 
Um, but I think a lot of it is healing the past wounds within yourself, of family, of healing that line, coming to that place of realization that, you know, there is a lot of painful things that you've experienced just in this year, just in general, things that have blocked you, and I feel like you're coming out of that, um, which I'm really impressed by you guys, because you've, you've done a lot of the healing, you've done a lot of the introspect, you've done a lot of soul searching, um, I think a lot of the reasons why you've been depressed is you've been feeling the need to get out of this blockage mentality when it comes to, you know, how you see yourself, how you see family, how you see life in general, and I feel like um, you're coming into your own, you're coming into your own power, and you're uh, putting down your guards and your defenses when it comes to, you know, opening your heart to love, whether it's love, new love, family, whether it has to do with things that you've isolated yourself so I feel like this is a good month of you know freedom in a good way um, freedom from your own devices your own self-sabotaging um, anyways I feel like there's love coming um, or love is here in general when it comes to expansion and growth um, I feel like you're laying down the burdens of what the future holds when it comes to these love connections, when it comes to maybe not having everything you want, and maybe that's the feeling of <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be painful it doesn't have to be a problematic thing I think it's just laying down the burdens laying down you know um, what is ahead you know and putting things to rest and just letting things be um, instead of getting caught up in the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, and really opening your heart to new love, opening your heart to the future of love, of what love looks like, of what is love is defined, uh, because there's really no, and that's something I'm personally learning, there's really no bonds to love, there's really no, um, You know, nothing's bonding love, like whether you're in the same sex marriage, whether you're in, you know, a relationship that's kind of like maybe taboo um, of that nature. Um, so I feel like there could be some communication. This also is getting clarity about stuff when it comes to these heartbreaks, when it comes to cutting things out that no longer serve you to your uh, maybe higher self, higher frequency. Um, I feel like there's new, you're taking forward movement on something possibly this month, um, you know, ending a cycle. So I feel like it's more about ending a cycle of past things, of past things that don't really matter. And I feel like it's about taking forward action, forward necessary action in your life to go forward, you know, not look back on the things that could have, should have, would have been and fully embody this energy of newness, of starting over fresh. Um, I think it's about to being clear on your communication, being clear and precise on how you want to manifest 
you know, you could be dealing with a Libra because Libra got that, you know, not being too hasty when it comes to manifesting things that maybe you don't want when it comes to, you know, newness. Uh, I think it's embodying this kind of like Leo energy, Leo vibe on, you know, what is ahead? The strength of connections, the strength of um, letting go relationships that aren't working or letting go uh, this need to control relationships because I feel like for Geminis there's always this need to want to control things and I'll think, I, I don't think don't take me wrong it's not a bad thing I think it's about you want things to go smoothly you know, why can't I have things right now, or why can't I have, you know, whether it's money, whether it's financial security, you want things now, uh, things will come when they feel ready to come, and you don't have to force anything, I think it's just the indication of observing things, letting things come to you. Um, taking your time on things, you know, don't rush things just because, you know, it may be good for you or something of that nature. Um, I'm going to pull some other cards, pause it real quick for love and relationship and anything that needs to come out that spirit needs to um, show the messages. All right, Gemini, these are what else came out. It's the King of Pentacles in reverse, Tower card in reverse. And two of two of um, swords. Um, I really think it has to do about being hasty. You know, maybe this was a cycle that was ending, and your decision deciding on something when it comes to your stability within yourself. I think there's some decisions that you need to make between your relationships. Um, like you're not waiting on it anymore or something when it comes to finding a balance between balancing out, you know, the tower moment and your stability. Um, so I feel like you're not hasty on a decision that needs to be taking place. I feel like you're trying to maybe in some way be like a Taurus this month or you're just trying to strategize your plan, you know trying to take in the information kind of like a cancer like sponge everything um trying to think um i think there's a lot of recovery for this month to really look at your finances what can you tweak what can you manage um i don't know i <laughs> i know why the word slow and steady runs away race that came to my mind just now um, but yeah, I think there's new things coming for you. New exciting um, beginnings are coming to you. New ideas um, when it comes to your relationships, your connection, maybe friendships, communication. Uh, I feel like you're trying to not try to be so harsh with your communication when it comes to relationships. Just being very cautious of what you say. I think that's pretty much. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're moving forward um, this month on something. Could be a project. Could be something that you're trying to plant a seed for in the future. Especially when it comes to your relationships and finances. So... I wish you guys the best for the month of October. Bye-bye.